Drishti IAS is pleased to revise its special program, Mastering Mains Answer Writing, targeting answer writing in UPSC and State Services Main Examination. We will be alternatively covering GS Papers 1, 2 and 3 through this program. For GS 4, please watch our program, Ethics, Definitions and Concepts. The link for it is mentioned in the description below. So, what is the structure of the program? We begin by looking at a question, then narrow it down to the syllabus and assess the weightage of the topic. We learn on how to approach the question, structure the answer and then write the actual answer. We finally conclude the episode by looking at questions asked in the previous year examinations. Let us look at the question which we will be discussing today. What do you mean by cryptocurrency? What role do you think cryptocurrency can play in the Indian context? Discuss. The question can be narrowed down to science and technology that is part of GS Paper 3. The importance of the topic over the years can be assessed from the graph that has been displayed. Shifting towards how to approach the question. In general, there are two things we must understand with respect to a question. A. The underlying theme of the question and b what is or are being asked about that theme now let us look at the question again what do you mean by cryptocurrency what role do you think cryptocurrency can play in the indian context discuss the underlying theme of this question is cryptocurrency about this theme we have to discuss the meaning of cryptocurrency and its role in the indian context to answer the given question, let us first understand the meaning of the command word discuss. Discuss simply means to cover broadly and encompassing all the dimensions, highlighting both positive and the negative aspects of the theme. Solutions and remedies can also be suggested. Moving towards how to structure the answer. The first part of the answer will be the introduction of the answer, which will include a brief description of cryptocurrency. The second part of the answer, that is the body, includes role of cryptocurrency in Indian context and its challenges. Lastly, in our conclusion, we will suggest some measures to counter the challenges and then end it on an optimistic note. Now, we try to write the actual answer, but before we commence, we would like to make it very clear that the answer provided here is a representative answer that is how the actual answer may look like. It can be adapted or modified as per your own natural style of writing, whether paragraph form or short sentences or bullets or diagrams. We have also taken certain liberties with the word limit by including certain additional information in the answer for your comprehensive understanding. So without much ado, let us write. A cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency designed to work as a medium of exchange. It uses cryptography to secure and verify transactions as well as to control the creation of new units of a particular cryptocurrency. It is supported by a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network called the blockchain. Blockchain technology ensures that all transactions in cryptocurrencies are recorded in a public financial transaction database. Some popular cryptocurrencies are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dash and Ripple. Recently, electric automaker Tesla has invested around $1.5 billion in Bitcoin and it plans to begin accepting the digital currency as payment for its high-end vehicles very soon. The role that can be played by cryptocurrencies in India Enabling small merchants to benefit from digitization by the use of cryptocurrency as their transaction is low cost as India is in the midst of a wave of digitization guided by the rise of mobile phone internet connectivity. Data and credit theft have been one of the reasons for low acceptability of online transactions. Cryptocurrency offers an avenue that is safe and encrypted. A lot of time and resources that otherwise go in securing sanctions from the third party will not be required in a cryptocurrency economy. Since cryptocurrency is a new and growing domain, the playing field is leveled. The younger generation in India can easily be at par with this global phenomenon. 
the government of India is also considering a bill which prohibits all private cryptocurrencies and provides for an official digital currency to be issued by the Reserve Bank of India. Moving on to the challenges that are associated with cryptocurrency. Most of the new users have little knowledge about the technology or how to verify the genuineness of a particular cryptocurrency. Price volatility tied to a lack in inherent value is also one of the challenges due to which economists have characterized the cryptocurrency ecosystem as a bubble. Hackers and malicious users can create as much as they want from virtual currency if they break the system and know the method of virtual currency creation. Unlimited issuing of virtual currency in the variety of virtual communities will lead to economic problems since its issuing is not based on the demand and supply. Since validating transactions is energy intensive, it may have adverse consequences for the country's energy security. For instance, the total electricity use of Bitcoin mining in 2018 was equivalent to that of a mid-sized economy such as Switzerland. Money laundering is one risk that is very likely to rise with the use of cryptocurrencies, especially with platforms that enable users to exchange virtual currency with real money. Shifting to the last part of our answer, way forward. For cryptocurrency to be accepted, it would be more pragmatic to institute awareness campaigns to alert investors to specific risks and to monitor trades for fraud and scams. There is a need for RBI to formulate a detailed regulatory framework to license virtual currency intermediaries like exchanges. Government along with private sector should work together to provide a robust cyber security system. There is a need for the fintech industry to show that virtual currency trade can be carried on in a safe and responsible manner with self-imposed safeguards such as adequate customer due diligence. In the end, we can say that India with its large base of consumers, engineers and entrepreneurs is poised to become a world leader as more and more blockchain participation, investment, development and mining occurs within its borders. Nevertheless, any decision in this direction should be based on sound policy foundations. Now we look at the questions asked in the previous year examinations. In 2020, the following questions were asked. Discuss different types of cyber crimes and measures required to be taken to fight the menace. What do you understand by nanotechnology and how is it helping in health sector? How is science interwoven deeply with our lives? What are the striking changes in agriculture triggered off by the science-based technologies? In 2019, the following questions were asked. What is India's plan to have its own space station and how will it benefit our space program? How can biotechnology help to improve the living standards of farmers? Give an account of the growth and development of nuclear science and technology in India. What is the advantage of a fast breeder reactor program in India? How is the government of India protecting traditional knowledge of medicine from patenting by pharmaceutical companies? In 2018, the following questions were asked. Discuss the work of Bose-Einstein statistics done by Professor Satendra Nath Bose and show how it revolutionized the field of physics. With growing energy needs, should India keep on expanding its nuclear energy program? Discuss the facts and fears associated with nuclear energy. In 2017, the following question was asked. India has achieved remarkable successes in unmanned space missions, including the Chandrayaan and Mars Orbiter mission, but has not ventured into manned space missions, both in terms of technology and logistics. Explain critically. In 2016, the following questions were asked. Discuss India's achievements in the field of space science and technology. How the application of this technology has helped India in its socio-economic development. Why is nanotechnology one of the key technologies of the 21st century? Describe the salient features of Indian government's mission on nanoscience and technology and the scope of its application in the development process of the country. In 2015, the following questions were asked. 
How can the Digital India program help farmers to improve farm productivity and income? What steps has the government taken in this regard? What do you understand by standard positioning systems and protection positioning systems in the GPS era? Discuss the advantages India perceives from its ambitious IR NSS program employing just seven satellites. What are the areas of prohibitive labor that can be sustainably managed by robots? Discuss the initiatives that can propel research in premier research institutes for substantive and gainful innovation. Discuss the advantage and security implications of cloud hosting of service vis-a-vis in-house machine-based hosting for government businesses. Can overuse and the availability of antibiotics without doctor's prescription the contributors to the emergence of drug-resistant diseases in India? What are the available mechanisms for monitoring and control? Critically discuss the various issues involved. Scientific research in Indian universities is declining because a career in science is not as attractive as our business operations, engineering or administration. And the universities are becoming consumer-oriented. Critically comment. In 2013, the following questions were asked. What is a digital signature? What does its authentication mean? Give various salient built-in features of a digital signature. How does 3D printing technology work. List out the advantages and disadvantages of the technology. What is an FRP composite material? How are they manufactured? Discuss their application in the aviation and automobile industries. With this, we conclude today's episode of Mastering Mains Answer Right. Until next time, stay safe. Thank you. To watch our videos in Hindi, subscribe to our Hindi YouTube channel, Drishti IAS.